Hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey. I'm a board certified orthodontist and the co-founder of Trayminder. Today I am going to teach you the difference between overjet and overbite. A lot of patients, when they talk about overbite, they're actually talking about overjet. What is the difference anyway? So let's talk about overbite first. Overbite is the vertical overlap of the top and bottom front teeth. So in this case here, you can see that the overbite is actually too deep because the top teeth are covering the bottom teeth too much. In an ideal overbite, the overbite should actually be about this much, which is about 10 to 15%. All right, overjet is the is the front back distance. It's how far the top teeth are in front of the bottom teeth. In this case here, you can see that the overjet is actually quite normal, but if the front teeth were jetting in front of the back teeth, then that is called an excess overjet, and that is not ideal. So hopefully you understand what an overbite and overjet now is. Overbite is the vertical overlap of the top and bottom incisors. Usually we like to see about a 15% overbite. Overjet is how far the top teeth are, top front teeth are in, in relationship to the bottom front teeth. An ideal overjet is about two to three millimeters. And of course, those numbers will differ slightly for different people. If you have bigger teeth and you have thick marginal ridges in the lingual, it just means that some patients will have on the back side of their front teeth, they have these ridges on the sides. Those are called snow shovel incisors. That's going to take up more room and that will basically increase your overjet. Also larger teeth will take up more room. Those teeth tend to have a little more overjet as well. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.